is the point of your channel. I would say the point of my channel, <clears throat> excuse me, these are the first words I'm saying today, is, oh yeah, this chart, here we go, 501, almost 505. No, I do want to watch the 355, but that's not the point. The point of my channel is I'd like to say this is a channel where I like to explore ideas. But I like to explore ideas without injecting them with emotion. So I think a lot of times people, when they have an idea, they want to express it with hate or love or whatever emotion. And I just, I want to explore ideas. I want to think about them. I want to talk about them. But if it's an idea that I don't like or I don't appreciate or I feel like it doesn't have any value for me, I move on. I just move on. So I was thinking about, you know, because I'd like to believe that my wife finds me attractive. So, and I was thinking, I was like, well, based on my experience, you know, I've met a lot of people. I'd just say in the last two decades, the last 20 years, I've met probably over 10,000 people easily, acquired information from over 10,000 people. So, looking at those examples of individuals that I came into contact with. I would say that uh, as far as males are concerned and their attractiveness to me, um, I didn't meet anyone. I didn't meet anyone. Now, I find myself very attractive. and You could take that however you want to take it. Um, I find Jesus very attractive. You know, I, I don't know what he looked like. I mean, it's disputable. I've been to a lot of uh, residences that had different depictions of Jesus. Um, I'd like to believe that my attractiveness to Jesus is more about his mindset and his uh, his way of thinking. I find that very attractive. So um, I've explored the the idea for a long time, and I just you know, if anything, I would probably find attractive the people that my wife mostly finds attractive. So a larger man. You know, large and in charge. You know, someone who probably is in their late 40s, maybe early 50s. Um, maybe a beard, goatee. You know, just someone who has a homely kind of personality. Someone who's assertive and, and just knows that they're prominent in the community. You know, I find that kind of person attractive. But, you know, hypothetically, I would have to sit down with one of my wife's exes and just be like, can I rub your belly? You know, I mean, I might find that relaxing is what I'm saying. So I don't know. I just, I don't find men attractive. I mean, I don't know what people want me to say about the subject. I don't know what I want myself to say about the subject. I think a lot of times you have to explore an idea to realize it's just not for you. You know, I find women too attractive, I think almost. So, um, but you know, I'll keep thinking about it. And then maybe I do, no, genuinely, I feel like I could just speak to, you know, one of my wife's exes and be like, you know what, I need to find out why my wife found you attractive. No, I'm just curious. I have a curiosity, genuine curiosity. And to thank, thank them for actually being an important, productive part of my, my family's life, really. You know, I'm grateful to everyone. Because everything can be a learning experience. It really can and then you can take that knowledge with you wherever you go. That's why I've always been a big proponent. Dominic, I'm going to let you know I'm never going to charge you any money. But I've invested half a million dollars into you. No, because I want you to be the best version of yourself you possibly can. And I'm grateful. And I look back at my life and I realize that I truly did have everything anyone could ask for. That's why at this time in my life, I'm like, I can't complain. How can I complain? had the best of everything, the best education, the best relationships. I mean, the network that I was involved in. I mean, my goodness, I had everything. I did. And I think maybe that's the point. You know, the point was that I could have everything and lose it and realize what's valuable. And what's valuable is developing yourself. And I say that not just to my kids, but to anyone. Please, that's what I've invested in myself. So that way, wherever I go, I can take the knowledge that I 
developed inside myself. No, I, I mean, I'm grateful for that. I'm grateful that I can learn from every single person I come into contact with. You know, I, my wife gave me a quiz yesterday, and I was like, what if someone, one of the questions was like, what if someone just rudely bumped into you? I'm like, well, if my, depends, first of all, is my family with me? Because that's an opportunity for me to show how I can be kind when someone's not kind to me. That's an opportunity opportunity for me to show my restraint. Now, does that always happen? No, but I'd like to believe that in that moment, I can take a step outside of what occurred to me and say, look, my sons are watching me. Everyone is watching me. What am I going to do to show the kind of person that I am? You know, someone might do something to me that's cruel, but in that moment, I have an opportunity to show everyone the kind of person I am. Thank you. I love you. Have a blessed day. I went over five. Sorry.